Hello, this is Shade Ketchum, and welcome to the first part of my blind let's play of Ruby Arrowfell. Let me just state uh, first off that Ruby's probably one of my favorite series of all time. Honestly, it's right up there with Sonic the Hedgehog. I've lowered the music a bit um, just so I can be heard a bit better. I tested it out a bit before it was quite loud. Which, I mean, it's Ruby. The music's always going to be great. You're probably going to want to hear that more than me. But enough babbling, let's get into this game. Although, before a slight note, if you have never seen Ruby, this game is specifically set during Volume 7, or Season 7, if you don't uh, understand that. So, there will likely be some spoilers. If you haven't uh, watched up to that point of the show, I recommend you do so. This game's story specifically, as I've heard, takes place around Episode 5 of Volume 7. So up to that point, and you will be good. So let's get into it. Ruby Rose, Wai Shni, Blake Belladonna, Yang Jialong. Known as Team Ruby, these four former students from the Fallen School of Beacon have found accommodation at Atlas Academy in the northmost continent, Solitas. With honor to their achievements, it is at Atlas Academy that Team Ruby are formally inducted as licensed huntresses. Meanwhile, on a summit north of the city of Mantle, soulless creatures of destruction and grim have been detected. A threat to both critical military initiatives and life itself. As newly appointed huntresses, Team Ruby is given their first directive by the Academy Headmaster, General James Ironwood, to investigate the summit, defeat all grim encounters, and discover the cause of their sudden presence. <sighs> I did not expect to all that text immediately. <laughs> Okay, uh, so not all of the scenes are voice acted. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to bother trying to copy their voices because I am not a voice actor. So, yeah. All right, Team Ruby. Well, there is voice clips. Our first mission is right here on the summit. Not the most glamorous place for an assignment. Um, I guess the Aesops were too busy. <sighs> at least you got a mission at all. What's so special about this location? Hmm. General Ironwood reported there was a possible Grim sighting somewhere around here. Hmm. Of course, it seems he's concerned on Grim this close to the Amity Tower construction site could compromise the initiative. Hey, but we're licensed huntresses now, remember? Let's go prove it. loving the music. That sounds like Casey. Okay, I see. So that's like a special... The Y button is a special attack. That's a ground combo. Or a ground attack, and you can do it from the air. Oh, and it... It just sends you straight down. You can't do it up in the air. What was Rubus? Okay, it's just a dash forward with a pedal burst. I noticed that the gun attack uh, takes away your life. Or, I guess that's the aura. The hearts are your life. 
Ow. Oh, that was the bush I destroyed. Okay, so destroying objects give us gives us Lien. There's no doubt about it now. This summit is a hotbed of grim activity. Gee, what gave you that idea, Ruby? Hmm. But it's so cold. Hmm. If we can reach the peak, we'll have the best possible vantage point. So leave it to me. I can use my semblance to speed dash over that gap. Swap between characters using the right button or L and B. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. The L, B, and R, B buttons. As Ruby, press Y to dash. Okay, so now they're giving us the tutorials. Give me that. Oh, okay. Objects can have either Lien or Aura points. I kind of assumed it would recharge on its own. I guess I'm used to Grim Clips. That is a big Beowulf. Hmm. It's it with a right stick. Oh, I see. Okay. It's based on a direction. If I press up, I go to root. Right is Weiss. Left is Gang. Down is Blake. Oh god! You're kind of... You're kind of a stationary object whenever you have to attack. Hmm. Yeah, I need a lot more aura. Oh great, look how high that ledge is. Hmm. hmm, one of my glyph platforms might do the trick. As a wise, press Y to create a glyph. Yeah, so it can act as a platform, and after a while, it will turn into an attack. Like an area effect attack. Oh god, they're like the Medusa heads. What's this? <laughs> I like their little poses. Skill point. Oh, I got an achievement. Treasure Huntress. You found a skill point. Use it to level up your team. Use to enhance Team Ruby's abilities. Hang on. Oh, they even have their little bios. Ruby Rose, the youngest member and leader of Team Ruby, where she is joined by her half-sister Yen. Although her energetic nature can be perceived as socially awkward, Ruby means well and is a source of positive energy. She fights with determination in the name of happiness for all. And will slowly be broken over the course of the story by the continuing sadness uh, and depression all around her. <laughs> God, poor Ruby. Ruby is a well-balanced fighter, wielding the high-caliber Sniper Scythe Crescent Rose. Her scythe slashes throughout nearby foes with a razor-sharp blade. When used as a rifle, the Crescent Rose fires a forceful shot with a kickback recoil that can keep Ruby briefly suspended in the air. Okay, that's useful to know. I gotta say, I'm not crazy about the idea that firing off a shot takes away your aura. Especially since... I know that the weapons are a conduit for aura, they've said that, but I don't know, that seems kind of limiting. Whoops. Why Shni, once an heiress of the Shni Dust Company, she has since been estranged from this destiny, joining Team Ruby. Her cold exterior is largely the result of her prim upbringing, but inside she is driven to fight for a world of peace and equality. I mean, Weiss is a multi-action dust rapier. Yeah, master. I cannot pronounce that. Features a revolving chamber designed to support a variety of uses. Not only is it the source of her semblance. What? The source of her semblance? 
but Weiss can also use it to stab her foes with a slow, graceful windup, followed by a sudden, powerful strike. She also launches delicate ice daggers to pepper in distant foes. That's interesting. I don't think it's ever been stated that her weapon is the source of her semblance. I always assumed she was able to use her semblance even without it. Hmm. Like Belladonna, a former insur insurgent of the White Fang group fighting for Fauna's rights, now a member of Team Ruby. While once withdrawn, Blake has since opened up more, including to her partners in Team Ruby, especially Yang. She is righteous, respecting the lives of all, whether they are Faunus or not. She's also a massive dork. <laughs> I love Blake. Blake uses her reconfigurable Gamble Shroud as her primary weapon in combat. This ballistic chain scythe can cut through enemies like a cleaver, and has a very powerful melee attack. In pistol mode, the Gamble Shroud is a fast-firing projectile weapon, dealing significant damage to any unfortunate target. Yang Jialong. Yang is the bullheaded problem solver of the team. She is protective of her half-sister Ruby, and her cool, good-natured exterior can snap in an instant at any threat. Yang then harnesses her anger and frustrations into pure strength. Though, she has significantly calmed down over time. She's much more keen to using her head uh, nowadays. Especially after getting her prosthetic. Although it is a prosthetic, Yang's arm is greatly enhanced, serving uh, as a powerful weapon. She may only be able to strike enemies at close proximity, but the damage she deals is more powerful than any other basic attack. Hmm. Uh, when attacking in a range, she winds up and releases a punch with a blast of incredible power. That's interesting. Okay, so I can upgrade their melee attack, defense, energy, heal, and ranged attack. I gotta say, I understand the idea of Wait a minute. Energy heal? What exactly does that mean? Does that mean, like, the amount of aura I heal from by gaining green orbs will just be increased? Like, melee attack and defense are self-explanatory. That one's interesting. I'm also curious what the ranged attack will do. Will it just make it more powerful? Because I'm tempted to upgrade that one the least since it drains aura. That seems the least useful. I'm gonna hold off on upgrading for now. Oh, these respawn. Do they share aura points? Aha! Okay. There is areas like this. Aw, she does... Her pose is kind of like how it is in Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. That's cute. Hmm. Oh. Can I... Okay, I can only have one platform at a time. Aha! Okay, I can use them in combination. I can use the glitz platform with other characters. Oh, I should have done that with another character. But I got a skill point. I love her little, like, Naruto one. Oh, uh... A dead end. Or is it? Huh. Maybe my shadow clone can help here. As Blake, press Y to summon a clone. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, they do share her. Okay. Uh, hang on. There we go. Okay, I gotta be a bit more careful. Wow, okay. Yang! Whoa! Okay, Yang's the fastest attacker. Achievement unlocked close encounters. Oh, hang on. Oh, never mind. You know, I'm just gonna go forward. I don't want to deal with respawning enemies. And just like that, we've hit a wall. Literally. No problem, sis. Hitting walls is my specialty. Stand back. As Yang pressed the Y to smash. Can I charge these up? No, I cannot. Oh, please, aura points. Thank you. What might you be? Oh, okay, you're a safe point. Oh, and he hits. <laughs> They're such dorks. And Yang does a pose um, similar to her cross tag battle uh, pose, too. That's nice. But it heals my aura points, so that's nice. And that's a gorgeous view of Atlas in the background. Let me guess. Yep. I'm guessing you always want to attack those guys from the back. What? Ambush. Eliminate the mysterious device. Okay. Oh, God. Excuse me. Oh, it's... Can't be Okay, I can't. Oh, God! There's a little... Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I, uh... I, uh... Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, before I do anything... Oh, it tells me. Uh, increased damage from their attacks. Oh, Blake Shadow Clone's attacks are included. As well as Yang's semblance attacks. Reduces damage from enemy attacks. How much energy refills automatically. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. And the damage from their ranged attacks. Oh. For Weiss, it includes your semblance attacks. Come on. 
yeah, I'm not... I'm not crazy about this. Come on, please. Please tell me this isn't just a freaking endless... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Please, give me more aura. Please, please. Oh, you gotta be... Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on. God. Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. Because that was... Hmm. What was that all about? Is it my imag... Oh, achievement. A mission begins. Is it my imagination, or did the Grim stop appearing once that gadget blew up? Hey, look! Something on the ground. Broken scrap. Oh! Oh, it's just that thing we exploded. But what is it? Who knows? It looks totally busted. <laughs> Blake, what is that face? Hmm. Hmm. I think I know just the person to ask. Pietro? Let's head to Mantle. <laughs> Chapter cleared. I'm gonna guess there was an achievement for, like, clearing the chapter without dying. Chapter 1, The Mysterious Orb. Yep, Pietro's Pharmacy. Can I zoom out? God. Yep, here's Mantle. That's Atlas. There's a lot of stuff in Solitas. Oh god, there's a big Grim in the sea. I think that's a Leviathan. But, um... Yeah, about that. About that whole little sequence just now. I don't agree with that. I mean, it's not that hard. Especially once I just started hammering it home with Yang's uh, attack, but... I don't know. I, I know I probably should have just stuck a bit farther away from enemies, because I was using Yang and she's such a close-range fighter. But... The thing is, she has the strongest attack, so she could take out the enemies the quickest. So... Hmm. I, I don't know, I feel like... If you introduce a gauntlet of enemies, it should either be appropriate for the difficulty level, or it should be later in the game. I don't think it should be one of the first things you face. I know it basically served as the boss for a chapter, but I think I would have just rather dealt with a singular, strong Grim as opposed to that. Especially since, from what I'm, uh, from what I'm playing right now, Team Ruby's not like they're not statues, but they're also not the quickest bunch. Even Ruby, who's known for her speed, she doesn't feel like, too maneuverable, at least not as much as some other games. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't agree with introducing a gauntlet in the first chapter. That was... questionable. I hope... I, I hope uh, that it's not, like, a big reoccurring thing, like, that you have it at the end of each chapter. Because if so, that will get old quick. I hope it's something that only shows up maybe... Like, if it shows up again, I hope it's only, like, one or two more times. Because if it shows up any more than that, that's gonna mark the game down a little bit for me. Because I'm not a fan of gauntlets. Pietro's Pharmacy. 
Yang's gauntlets notwithstanding. They're great. Hey, Pietro. Hey, Maria. I could probably go off screen to get out of here, can I? Ah, ah Tim Ruby. My daughter said you are full-fledged huntresses now. Congratulations. Based on that voice clip, I assume you're still voiced by Dave Fenoy. Oh, Penny told you, huh? About time, if you ask me. You're certainly proving your battle skills. <laughs> well, thanks. We're ready to uphold responsibility. Now tell me, what brings you back to Mantle? We were out investigating grim activity on that summit near Atlas when we found something unusual. Oh. Is that so? Let me take a look. Broken scrap. Oh. Oh, this is unusual technology indeed. Wait, uh. Could this be something valuable? Can't say for sure. Oh. Never seen anything quite like it. Hmm. If Pietro here doesn't know what it is, you must have found something pretty strange. Gosh, I wonder what it's for. If we could activate it, perhaps we could find out. But it seems to be in rough shape. Hmm. I could maybe reconstruct it. Please do not bring back the enemies with it. Please. Tell you what. I'll hold on to this broken scrap and see if I can fix it up. Without the enemies, preferably. Please, Pietro, don't do this to me. While I'm doing that, if it's Grim you're looking for, there was an incident at a settlement east of ways. Oh, uh... An incident? What happened? Well, now, it doesn't sound too serious, but word is the local guardian, Russet, uh, had a nasty run-in with Grim. The name of the place is Eason Town. Mm. Or Essen Town, however you pronounce that. I'll say Eason for now. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I like that we have little settlements to go to. That it's not just actual, like, levels from one to another. Check in with Russet, and he might be able to tell you about his recent grim encounter. On our way! Thank you! Thank you, Dr. Polandina. Uh, it's always nice to see them. Does he have anything else to say? Yeah! Well... To Ace Town, you may be able to hear about Russet's Grim Encounter. In the meantime, after a bit of fixing up, I might be able to turn on the boat and scrap you found. Ah. I believe I overheard Pietro mention Russet over in Eason Town. It sure sounds like the folks over there may have more information for you. Maria, please come with us. You're awesome. Also, I just realized... How many skill points... Let's see, let me count that out. So, four for each for a row. So, 16 times four. Let's see. I'm just gonna pull up a calculator. 64. So, I need exactly 64 of those things to upgrade I'm sorry, 64 skill points, exactly, to upgrade everyone fully. Hmm. I wonder if there's actually that many, or, uh, or if it will actually, like, just be a case of you having to choose. I hope there's that many that you can fully upgrade everyone, because that'll give you a goal for 100%. Uh, semblance. Oh, that's nice. It has a little effect. Wait. Quickly, dark cards. While using this semblance, Ruby will be temporarily invulnerable. Or briefly invulnerable. What? That's useful to know. Okay, so... Does that mean I can dash through the enemies? And we could use her semblance of material. Stand on the platform, reach high places, or let it dissipate. A real shard burst attack. Knew that. We just conjure up. Not only can the clone stand on pressure place, but when engaging in combat, the clone will fight too. Yeah, I figured that one out. Okay. The shard with the power attack also crumble any stone blocks. Alright. 
So that's basically about it. I noticed that there's more hearts there, so more times I can take a direct attack. He's in town. Is everyone going to have a unique design? I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Oh, whoopsies. Welcome to Easton Town. It's a bit remote, but we enjoy our cozy way of life in the cold. Though if it weren't for our ice fisher friends from Dormir, we'd probably starve. Well, that's a nice little bit of world building. But yeah, there's going to be people who don't like living in the kingdoms. And I'm not surprised that not everyone has portraits. But you do. Ser uh, Seri... God, I'm I'm terrible with pronunciations. Cerisi Claire. Cerisi Claire. Okay. I've looked everywhere I can. It must really be gone. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, I can't believe I lost it. Uh. What are you looking for? It's my precious book. I must have dropped it in the shuffle of escaping those grim. <laughs> escaping? What happened? I came here when my home was overrun by grim. Barely escaped my life. There's a settlement west of here called uh, Crosshead. That's where I'm from, but now it's just remains. Hmm. Here, I'll show you the place on your map. Do we actually have side objectives? I've lost all hope of ever finding my precious book at this point, and I couldn't possibly go back. Precious book, where could it be? Mm. She seems pretty upset. Gee, Blake, what was your first clue? <laughs> Wanna know a neat trick I learned? No matter how far you venture, you can always leave that location for another. Just open the pause menu and select exit location at any time. Okay. Although you should know the exit location will not be available if you're trapped in an ambush, or worse, a boss fight. Make sure you're prepared. Ah, uh, great. So that implies that an ambush is going to be a reoccurring thing. Great. Just great. Ah. What do we have here? You're not the old man shopkeep. You're just a lowly merchant. Thrill seekers. Explorers? Mm. Or are you just trying to look trendy? Oh, please, 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 tell me. I remember something from the first trailer of the game. There was a little detail that stuck out huh, to me. It was something about there being a grim themed outfit for Yang. It only appeared in, like, the corner of the screen, but I'm hoping... I, like, I know that was only in the first trailer, and we didn't actually get to see the outfit, but I'm hoping that, like, optional outfits are something that can be in this game. Because, I, I imagine the Lien is there for stuff like items to help you, or things to heal you, but I'm hoping there's also optional outfits for you to spend your Lien on. And one of the reasons I'm hoping for this is because I suspect that the main reason that feature would even be implemented, besides the fact that it would be fun to just dress them up in ridiculous outfits, is probably so that fans would be able to play in their favorite outfits for each respective member of Team Ruby. Like if you favor their beacon outfits or their mistral outfits. Uh, over their Atlas outfits. It, it, it Everyone has their own favorites. I also would love to have their Ice Queendom outfits be in there. If not in already in the game, then uh, I don't know, I'd buy them as DLC. But please tell me it's in here. Um. What's with him? Hey, you're one of those traveling merchants who's always around in case we need to buy stuff. Ruby, you really know your video games. Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> I didn't expect that sound, but... You're the smart one, aren't you? Okay. 
Energy boost small. Recover half of the energy to Team Ruby's meter. Okay, so that's for aura points. Chocolate bar. A milk chocolate treat that restores two hearts. That's useful in a pinch. Revive ring. When things reach their most dire, carry this ring to revive Team Ruby. Okay, so it's like a fairy from The Legend of Zelda. It'll probably activate as soon as I die. Skill points. A rare skill point. Okay, so we can buy them. Okay, that either means that... That either means that you do eventually have to start buying them, that there's not enough in the field, or that this could just be another option. There might be enough uh, in total in the field, but this is a, another option if you don't want to do that. Extra heart. An extra heart allowing Ruby uh, to sustain more damage. Yes! But I don't have enough Lien. Oh. I'll be around. Thanks, Mr. Merchant Guy. I really... I really hope that concept wasn't scrapped. But I need to grind up more Lien for that. Whoop. You know the famous Huntress Maria? Apparently they used to call her the Grim Reaper. Oh god, that really is just spreading around now, isn't it? Well, she doesn't really hunt Grim anymore, but I did hear her knowledge on them is vast. Okay, so you don't... you just repeat dialogue. If you ever encounter a save point, be sure to save your progress. If you're defeated, you'll end up back where you last saved. Oh, you're Russet. Russet Cobb. Oh, it's been a while to see travelers here in Eason Town. Name's Russet, Guardian of Eason. You gave yourself that title, didn't you? <laughs> so, you're Russet. You've heard of me then. I mean, it's no surprise, really. Local legend and all. <laughs> how do I pronounce that? Thormane, uh, and... That's probably not how I pronounce it, but I'm gonna say it. Thormane and I, uh, take down more than our fair share of Grim. Uh. Thornmain? Uh, yeah, that's my boss. A former huntsman from Atlas. Thornmain's network of guardians like myself reaches for across Saltos, but my post is right here in Eason Town. And I must say, Thornmain himself can really fight off Grim too, like no one I've ever seen. Hmm. Between the both of us, we've got those Grim running scared on the regular. <laughs> Grim don't actually do that. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Grim, don't think. Wink. <gasps> wow, you two must make a great team. <sighs> well, to be honest, I've been off my game ever since the incident. <sighs> I set one foot in Eason Cave and a saber took a bite of my backside. The place is crawling with Grim. <laughs> Eason Cave? Perhaps we should take a look. Russet, can you tell us where this cave is? Well, I don't recommend you go there, but if you insist, it's just west. Here, I'll mark on your map. Beware, the powerful Grim in that cave chomped clean through my favorite armor. Oh. Why, what's a guardian without his rear armor? God, you could take that in a bad way. Oh, uh... Rear armor? Oh god, Ruby, please tell me you didn't notice um, the way it was phrased, too. Yes, made of only the finest essential ore, mind you. <laughs> a new armor um, could be forged with two essential ore. You know, about one for cheeks, or should be it. No. Ah, so you did mean it that way. Oh. And you can stop right there. Well, if you find essential ore, bring it here. Got it? Will do. Well. Let's go check out that cave with the Grim. Don't worry, we'll get you your butt armor. You will now have... Well, you will not be stuck with assless chaps any longer. Huh. Find any central war? Not yet. Oh. Too bad. Hadn't bitten my backside. Stop talking about how I bit your butt. All right. What time is it? Let's go here. Crossed remains. Oh my god! 
Okay, they can attack from a distance. But so can I. Okay. Oh, but... That's... Okay, everyone's gonna recover energy in different ways. Oh, and that's another thing to keep in mind. If my aura is down, it'll mainly focus on giving it back to me instead of Lien. I... What fired at me? So there is some elements of Metroidvania to this. And yes, I can dash through enemies. Okay, so it's not an exact science. Sometimes it will produce, like, stuff for aura. Even if I didn't mean to get it. Or even if I... Thank you. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to use your someone, Blake. <laughs> nice. There's the precious book. That's interesting. Can I even get up there? Nope. Okay, so no one actually has a higher jump. It's just that Weiss can do that. Oh god! Alright, get rid of that at least. Well, that could have gone badly. God, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Yeah, overwrite. Maybe a save point. <laughs> Dusty and uh, Tattered Books. Sarah C. and Easton Town was looking for something like this. Oh, I can't read it. Is there no map? Oh crap. Oh god! Oh god. 
still. Stay still. All right. All right. Another skill point. I feel like I want to use these, like, for the energy heals mostly at the start. Because... I'm gonna need them. Oh god. Oh, I can't get up there normally. He really comes after you. Like, he really comes after you. God. Oh, no. Okay, I definitely need to use range attacks with those guys. Or at least some form of them. I need that. Or don't do that. Alright. I'm bad at video games. Oh, that's interesting. It has to be above solid ground. Otherwise, it won't do it. Explore more of that area later. It's not worth backtracking. Hang on. Is that. Did you find it? My precious book? Nope. <laughs> sure, yes, here it is. I love it when they give you that option. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd never see it again. What's so special about this dusty old thing anyway? Ice. No, no, it's quite all right. It's rather old, but this book contains the handwritten records of my ancestors who fought in the Great War. Oh, really? However, without this book, my tribe's stories would have been lost to the ages. What is your tribe's name? To think, the very grim that led us into the dark times of those stories nearly separated this book from me. I can't thank you enough for your deed. I haven't gotten much of value anymore, but here. A pickaxe. Huh. Maybe it's just called the Clear Tribe. What's this? This pickaxe was my only weapon in escaping the grim that overtook our formal settlement. God, my lip hurts. I can't speak. This pickaxe was my only weapon uh, when escaping on the grim that overtook our former settlement. It's safer for us here in Easton Town, where there's a guardian on duty. I'm certain I won't be needing it. Yep, definitely won't. There will be no Grim attack in the future. Oops. Pickaxe that was given by Cerisee. Perhaps someone else needs it. Oh, are we doing a side quest where we have to get one item and pass it off to another and yada yada yada? Oh god, I just noticed my aura does not heal between stages. 
Welcome back, there's plenty to buy. I wonder if I can find extra hearts in the field. Whatever. Achievement unlocked. What are you buying? Uh. Oh, and he's already sold out. Bye bye. <laughs> that voice clip. Hmm, be seeing you soon, no doubt. Hmm. I'm gonna check something real quick before I end before I end it off. Pietro, could I give this pickaxe to you? Well. Your Reverend would like a hint, just drop by. Okay. Ah. I, I'm dropping by for a hint and you're not giving it. Alright. In that case, I think I'll... Uh, wait. Oh no. <laughs> Um. Oh, that's not something I expected. You can't save from the main menu. It has to be in a stage. Uh, hi Casey. Let me uh, hear your song again while I go to the save room. Wait, did my aura heal immediately upon coming into the stage? Good idea, opportunity to grind up some uh, the end. I almost said money, which is correct. Huh. Okay. I was wondering if there was like attacks you could do upwards, but it doesn't look like need to get to the same point, thank you. there was a way you could save outside the stages, like, in the actual, like, hub areas, but I, I don't know. Maybe there will be uh, later in the game. I could just be presuming too much. Although I also wish you could save on the map screen, but, eh, whatever. Oh, they all have little idle animations. Ruby, you're a dork. Weiss, what's yours? I'm gonna call it here as I watch whatever their idle animations are. Weiss, are you not gonna do anything? Oh, okay. God, I hope she flips her hair uh, as a weapon uh, like um, Shantae does at one point. It just seems like it should happen. It's a way forward game. 
Blake, what do you got? Alright, playing the cool cat as usual. And Yang, what are you going to end us off with? <laughs> Yang, what are you doing? You're faking an attack. Okay. Anyway. I'm going to call it here. Honestly... I mean, aside from that little ambush section, which, again, I hope isn't too reoccurring of a sequence, but whatever. Aside from that, I'm enjoying this so far. I mean, it's way forward. It's bound to usually be a good game. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Uh, whoops, there's my recording. Have a good night.